Things in life are very difficult. Things in life are very hard. At day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. Whether it's our relationships, whether it's our own personality, whether it's our own issues, whether it's our work, whether it's our children, whether it's anything in between, it's di- we're, dif- we're in a difficult situation. But you want to know what makes a job easier to handle? You want to know what makes a test easier to handle when you know it's a test? If you know that, wait a minute, Akadosh Baruch Hu is testing you because you're about to get a big promotion. And before any promotion, God tests you. So if you realize that this is a test, you start laughing and be like, this? Okay, I got this. No problem. I'll, you could take it on with so much easiness, so much without any difficulty. When the difficulty was a, what, at, at like 99%, when you realize this is a test and I could overcome it, all of a sudden that 99, then 1-9, it drops like a 9% difficulty. It drop so much. So we have to realize that on our day-to-day, we're constantly being tested. You read an article and you get angry. This is a test from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's a test of Emuna. You're feeling frustrated. You're feeling sad. You're feeling confused. This is a test of Emuna. How do you respond? Do you realize that God is in control? Or do you think, no, the Israeli army is in control and they're doing something wrong. They shouldn't be doing it. The United States should be doing this. The United Nations is a piece of garbage. It's not worth the paper that they write their name on, which is true, by the way. But nonetheless, you get so angry. Doctors Without Borders, what good are they when they support terrorism and they don't mention any human rights violation? What good is the Red Cross when they know all the disasters that's happening in Gaza and they don't mention anything? What good are journalists that are biased and they only care about their own agenda? And you can get frustrated, you could get angry, you could get sad, you can get confused, you can get frustrated, you can get any emotion. But once you look at it from a different angle... You start realizing, wait a minute, this is a test. This is from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. This is from God. Am I going to get angry? Am I gonna, what is going to be my response? And this is not something that you can utilize just for the, 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 the roller coaster of emotions that we're going through. But you could utilize this in your day-to-day activities, whether it's with your spouse, with your children, with your boss, with your learning, with yourself, with God, with anything in between. When you realize that when you approach a difficulty and when you encounter a difficulty... This is HaKadosh Baruch who's saying, I am testing you. And if you know it's a test, you'll be like, okay, wait a minute. Then I am just not going to get angry. Like, let me just take, it's a test. I am not going to get angry. I have the ability to overcome it. I am not going to get frustrated. I have the ability to overcome it. Because it all boils down to one factor. And that is the uh, the the important understanding that HaKadosh Baruch Hu controls everything. HaKadosh Baruch Hu controls every single thing that happens in your life, macro and micro. Everything from what's happening to Israel to the wrong shirt that you put on that day, to the spill of the coffee, or to the freeing of 300 Palestinian terrorists. Everything is from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So when we look at it, anxiousness, anxiety, depression, sadness, all these things go out the window. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, maybe I don't agree. Yeah, I probably know better than the entire Israeli government. Yeah, I probably know better than everyone. But at the end of the day, that's not the correct response. The correct response is like, wait a minute. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is testing me. What am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, maybe I say to Helen. Maybe I improve. Maybe I'll learn a little bit more. Maybe I'll dress more modestly. Maybe I'll treat my spouse a little bit better. Maybe I'll treat my children a little bit better. The list goes on and on, and you each know what we you have to work on. We all know what we have to work on. So instead of going and getting frustrated, realizing that it is a test, and we this is the difficult part. We don't think like, hey, wait a minute, I'm reading an article. Like, how is that going? Yeah, no, no, that's a test. Like that article is written in a certain way that's going to trigger you. How are you going to respond to that? You're going to be frustrated. You're going to be angry. You're not going to be able to fall asleep. You're going to get anxiety. You're going to get anxiousness. Or you're going to be like, no, wait a minute. This is from Hashem. This too is a test. And when we start realizing that, we can start controlling the roller coaster of emotions that we've been dealing since with October 7th. And many of us and most of us before that and after that. And this is the important, important lesson, the important takeaway. That the next time that you're presented with a situation... Whether it is an emotional, a physical, whatever it is, you have to stop for a second. You have to realize this is a test. And if it's difficult, then you know the value of that test. 
then you know the worth of that test. Because Yaakov Avinu, Yitzhak Avinu, they were all tested on the most difficult aspects of it. Because that's where growth begins. When it gets difficult, that's when you grow. So the next time, which again, in the day that we're living, it's going to be within the ne- next few hours, you are going to be tested. Take this lesson, stop, realize that it's a test, and then you would be able to overcome it.